Hello everyone, this is the audio recording for visually impaired students from the textbook Pradeeps in Organic Chemistry, Volume 2, Semester 3. Today, we will read about Chapter 8, Non-Aqueous Solvents. A solvent is generally defined as a liquid which has the ability to dissolve other substances. Water is considered to be a universal solvent since ancient times. Majority of the reactions are also carried out in water because of its easy availability and unique physical and chemical properties. There are solvents other than water that can be used to carry out chemical reactions. Solvents other than water are called non-aqueous solvents. Before we discuss the chemistry of non-aqueous solvents, it is appropriate to understand the important role of a solvent plays in a chemical reaction. Article 8.1 Role of Solvent in a Chemical Reaction A solvent has two important roles in a chemical reaction. The first and the important role is to bring the reacting substances close to each other in a finely divided state. If the reactants are not intimately mixed, the rate of the reaction will be very slow. For example, the reaction between barium chloride and silver nitrate in the solid state will proceed very very slow. BaCl2 plus 2AgNO3 gives 2AgCl plus BaNO3 whole twice. However, in aqueous solution, the reaction proceeds very rapidly. Thus, the role of solvent is to accelerate the rate of the reaction. In addition, it is possible for a solvent to change the course of the reaction. In water, barium chloride and silver nitrate react with the twinkling of an eye to form white precipitate of silver chloride. BaCl2 plus 2AgNO3 in the presence of water gives 2AgCl plus BaNO3 whole twice. The same reaction in liquid ammonia is completely reversed. 2AgCl plus BaNO3 whole twice in the presence of liquid NO3 gives BaCl2 plus 2AgNO3. A solvent also affects the rate of the given reaction. For example, the reaction between idoethene and triethylamine occurs to form tetraethyl ammonium iodide at a reasonable speed in hexane. C2H5I plus H2H5 whole thrice N in the presence of hexane gives H2 C2H5 whole 4 N plus I negative. In the above re reaction is carried out in benzene, the rate of the reaction becomes 80 times than hexane. In acetone, the rate of reaction is 500 times, whereas in nitrobenzene, the rate of reaction is 2800 times. We can say that the rate of above reaction in various solvents proceeds in the order nitrobenzene, then acetone, then benzene, then hexane. Another important role of the solvent is to allow rapid separation and purification of the products. The precipitation of the chlorides in the above reaction allows for an easy separation of the products. We should recall that silver chloride is insoluble in water whereas barium chloride is insoluble in liquid ammonia. Suppose you are asked to prepare anhydrous sample of copper sulfate. How will you prepare it? Definitely, you cannot use water as a solvent. This means we need another solvent. Anhydrous copper sulfate can be cleanly and conveniently prepared in the molten solvent mercuric bromide according as CuBr2 plus AgSO4 in the presence of AgBr2 gives HgBr2 plus CuSO4. Physical Properties of Solvent The selection of the solvent in a reaction is generally made with regard to some specific properties that may help to carry out the reaction by effectively dispersing the reactants and separating the products more conveniently. Some of the important physical properties of the solvents are discussed below. 
Majority of the chemical reactions are carried out in the liquid phase. As a result, the liquid range, that is temperature range between melting and boiling point, determines the usefulness of a particular solvent. Melting and boiling point of several solvents are given in Table 8.1. Solvent melting point and boiling point. H2 0, 0.0 boiling point is 100. NH3 Melting point is minus 77.4 and boiling point is minus 33.35. SO2 Melting point is minus 75.46. Boiling point is minus 10.02. HF Melting point is minus 89.20 and boiling point is 19.50. H2SO4 100%. Melting point is 10.37. Boiling point is minus 300. CH3COOH melting point is 16.6 shadow boiling point is 118.20 An inspection of table 8.1 reveals that water has an excellent liquid range from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius as a result it is an ideal solvent for carrying out chemical reactions in solution at room temperature and atmospheric pressure both liquid ammonia and liquid sulfur dioxide are ideal solvents for carrying out reactions at low temperature. Second, dielectric constant. Dielectric constant measures the polar nature of the solvent. This property is used to evaluate the solubility of polar or non-polar compounds in a solvent. According to Coulomb's law, the forces between two charged particles is given by the expression F is equal to E1, E2 divided by dr square, where E1 and E2 are the charges on the two particles, R is the inner nuclear distance between the particles and D is equal to dielectric constant of the solvent. A high value of dielectric constant D indicates that the force of attraction F between the charged particles is less and hence a small amount of energy is required to separate the ions. It means that it is easy to dissolve an ionic solute in a solvent of high dielectric constant. In other words, dielectric constant determines the ability of a solvent to dissolve ionic compounds. Thus, solvents with high electric constant should be able to dissolve ionic and polar compounds. A solvent is considered to have high dielectric constant if the value lies between 50 to 80, a medium dielectric constant if the values lie between 20 to 50 and a low dielectric if the values lie between 2 to 20. Thus, solvents like liquid ammonia and liquid sulfur dioxide with low dielectric constant should so decreased ability to dissolve ionic compounds, especially the multi-charged ions. As a result, carbonates, sulfates and phosphates are least soluble in solvents with low electric constant. Article 8.3 Types of Solvents Non-aqueous solvents can be broadly classified into four types with protonic and non-protonic solvents, acidic and basic solvents, ionizing and non-ionizing solvents, coordinating and non-coordinating solvents. The above classification is based primarily on the chemical properties of the solvents and are discussed below. Protonic and non-protonic solvents. Protonic solvents are those from which hydrogen ions H positive or proton can be abstracted. Some of the commonly available protonic solvents are H2O, HF, HCN and H2SO4. Non-protonic solvents are those from which hydrogen ion H positive cannot be abstracted easily. Frequently encountered example of such solvents are CHCl3, C6H12, liquid SO2, etc. Acidic and basic solvents. Solvents which are capable of donating hydrogen ions, H positive are called acidic solvents, whereas solvents which are capable of accepting H positive ions are called basic solvents. Examples of acidic and basic solvents are Acidic solvents, HF, H2SO4, CH3, COOH, etc. Basic solvents, NH3, pyridine, hydrazine, etc. 
ionizing and non ionizing solvents there are several solvents which undergo auto ionization or self ionization to different extents such solvents are called ionizing solvents frequently encountered examples of ionizing solvents are given below 2h2o gives h3o positive plus oh negative 2so2 gives so2 positive plus so3 2 negative 2nh3 gives nh4 positive plus nh2 negative 2h2so4 gives h3so4 positive plus hso4 negative there is another class of solvents which are non polar and do not ionize at all such solvents are named as non ionizing solvents examples are benzene hexane tetrachloromethane etc coordinating and non coordinating solvents there are several solvents which are capable of coordinating with the ions of a solute such solvents are designed as coordinating solvents commonly used coordinating solvents are nh3 ch3 whole twice so ch3 c double triple bond n ch3 no2 on the other hand solvents which are not capable of coordinating with the ions of a solute are called non coordinating solvents for example benzene hexane and tetra chloromethane are non coordinating solvents article 8.4 liquid ammonia as a non aqueous solvents liquid ammonia is one of the most thoroughly studied non aqueous solvents due to its availability and water like properties these days liquid ammonia is used very frequently as a solvent for many types of organic and inorganic synthesis ammonia is an associated solvent through hydrogen bonding although the extent of h bonding is far less compared to that in water as a result the melting and boiling points of liquid ammonia are lower than those of water some of the important physical properties of ammonia are listed in table 8.5 the corresponding values of water are also listed in the table for comparison table 8.5 physical properties of ammonia melting point minus 77.74 and melting point of water is 0 degree celsius boiling point minus 33.35 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius liquid range 44.4 on 100 density 0.690 and 1 dielectric constant 22.0 and 78.5 viscosity 0.254 and 0.891 dipole moment 1.85 and 1.47 torotons constant 109 and 101 auto protolysis constant 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 33 and 10 raised to power minus 14. Specific conductance: 1 into 10 raised to power minus 11 and 5 into 10 raised to power minus 7. A careful inspection of the table 8.5 reveals that the dielectric constant of ammonia 22 is smaller than the water 78.5. As a result, liquid ammonia is a much better solvent for organic compounds than in water. on the other hand liquid ammonia is a poorer solvent for ionic compounds than is water therefore are however a number of ionic compounds which have a higher degree of solubility in liquid ammonia table 8.6 summarizes the solubilities of some common inorganic compounds in liquid ammonia table 8.6 solubilities of some inorganic compounds in liquid ammonia at 25 degree celsius salt solubility nh4cl 102.5 nh3br 237.9 nh4i 368.4 nh4hcn 312.0 nh4clo4 137 nh4no3 390 NH4 whole twice CO3 zero, NH4 whole twice SO3 zero, AgCl 0.83, AgBr 5.92, AgI 206.84. Ammonium salts regard less of the anion and highly soluble in liquid ammonia. Inorganic compounds with highly polarizable anions, iodide and thiocyanates, are more soluble than the non-polarizable ions. fluoride and chloride 
solubility of halides decreases from iodides to chlorides. It is noted that highly charged ions with high charge density like fluorides, hydroxides, oxides, sulfates, carbonates are insoluble in liquid ammonia. Auto-ionization of liquid ammonia. Liquid ammonia undergoes auto-ionization in a manner similar to water. However, the extent of autonization is smaller than that of water. 2NH3 gives NH4 positive plus NH2 negative. The ionic product of ammonia at minus 50 degree Celsius is 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 33, which is very low compared to that of water. NH4 positive, NH2 minus is equal to 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 33. Concentration of H3O positive and OH negative is equal to 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 14. Chemical reactions in liquid ammonia. Chemical reactions occurring in liquid ammonia are similar to reactions occurring in aqueous solution because liquid ammonia is similar to water as a solvent. Some of the important reactions that take place in liquid ammonia are given below. First is acid base reactions. The auto-ionization of ammonia gives NH4 positive and NH2 negative ions. 2NH3 gives NH4 positive plus NH2 negative. According to the solvent system concept of acid and bases, any substance that by direct ionization or by interaction with the solvent gives the cationic characteristics of the solvent resulting from the auto-ionization of the solvent behaves as an acid in the solvent. Similarly, a base is any substance that gives the anionic characteristics of the solvent. Thus, NH4Cl would behave as an acid whereas KNH2 would behave as a base in liquid ammonia. Therefore, the neutralization reaction would be acid plus base gives salt plus solvent. Acid and bases in liquid ammonia are called amino acid and amino bases respectively. Thus, amino acids are substances which in liquid ammonia furnishes NH4 positive ions whereas amino bases are substances which in liquid furnishes NH2 ions. Solutions of metals in liquid ammonia A unique feature of liquid ammonia as a solvent is its power to dissolve the alkali metals and to a lesser extent the alkaline earth metals and aluminium. The metals dissolve to impart blue color. The blue solution are extremely good conductor of electricity. As the concentration of the metal is increased, the solution becomes bronze colored. The dilute solution are paramagnetic, but the paramagnetic behavior decreases with the increase in concentration of the metal. Highly concentrated solutions have conductivities nearly as high as pure metals. The equivalent conductivities of lithium, sodium and potassium are given in figure 8.2. It is believed that blue color of the solution is due to the presence of alkali metal ions and free electrons in liquid ammonia. M gives M positive plus electron. In dilute solution, the metal ions and electrons are ammoniated as M positive plus X NH3 gives M NH3 whole X positive. Electron plus Y NH3 gives NH3 whole Y negative or M plus X plus Y NH3 gives M NH3 whole X positive plus E NH3 whole Y negative. Where AM stand for ammonica, ammonated species, solutions of alkali metals in liquid ammonia are Metastable. A small amount of impurity is sufficient to catalyze the formation of amide. A rusted nail will be capable of serving as a catalyst for the formation of sodium amide. 2Na plus 2NH3 in the presence of Fe2O3 gives 2NaNH2 plus H2. However, if both alkali metal and ammonia are extra pure, the alkali metals dissolved in liquid ammonia can be kept for many weeks at low temperature and one can recover the alkali metals on evaporation of the solvent. However, when alkaline earth metals dissolved in liquid ammonia are evaporated, the free metals are not obtained. Instead, ammonated of the type MNH3 Hall 6 are obtained where M is the alkaline earth metal. Reactions of Amino Acids 
Amino acids is a substance which in liquid ammonia supplies NH4 positive ions. Thus all ammoni ammonium salts irrespective of the anion are amino acids in liquid ammonia. These acids undergo a number of acid base reactions given below. First, the amino acids react with the reactive metals and liberate hydrogen gas. Na plus NH4Cl in the presence of liquid NH3 gives NaCl plus NH3 plus H2. CO plus 2NH4NO3 in the presence of liquid NH3 gives CONH3 whole twice plus 2NH3 plus H2. Second, ammonium salts dissolved in liquid ammonia are used for the synthesis of various hydrides. For example, reaction of magnesium silicates and magnesium germanide with ammonium solution of ammonium bromide gives high yields of silanes and germanes it respectively. Mg2Si plus 4NH4Br in the presence of liquid NH3 gives 2MgBr2 plus SiH4 plus 4NH3. Mg2Ge plus 4NH4Br in the presence of liquid NH3 gives 2MgBr2 plus GeH4 plus 4NH3. Third, amino acids undergo protolysis in liquid ammonia. A number of compounds like urea, acetamide, sulf sulfamide, sulfamic acid that do not donate proton to water readily donate protons to NH3 in liquid ammonia. Thus, these compounds act as amino acids in liquid ammonia as described below. Urea plus NH3 gives O double bond C, NH and NH2 plus NH4 positive. Sulfimic acid behaves as a dibasic acid in liquid ammonia whereas in water it acts as a monobasic acid. This is because NH2 group is not acidic enough to donate to water. Reactions of amino bases The most common reaction in liquid ammonia involving amino bases are reactions of the amide ion NH2 negative. Most commonly used amino base in liquid ammonia is potassium amide KNH2 because of its high solubility in liquid ammonia. The solubility of lithium amide and sodium amide is very small in liquid ammonia. Reactions of such solutions with metal ions in liquid ammonia are used for the preparation of metal amide, metal imide and metal nitrile. AgNO3 plus KNH2 in the presence of liquid NH3 gives KNO3 plus Ag. NH2. PBI2 plus KNH2 in the presence of liquid NH3 gives KI plus PBI2 plus PBNH. Advantages of liquid ammonia as a solvent. Following are the advantages of using liquid ammonia as a solvent. First, alkali metals dissolve cleanly in liquid ammonia without any chemical reaction. Second, alkali metal solution in liquid ammonia are stronger reducing agents than hydrogen. Third, the tendency of liquid ammonia to undergo solvolysis reaction is smaller in comparison to water. Fourth, the solubility of ammonium salts in liquid ammonia finds extensive use in precipitating metals, halides, sulfides, and sulfates. Disadvantages of liquid ammonia as a solvent Liquid ammonia as a solvent has the following disadvantages. First, ammonia has a lower boiling point minus 33.35 degree celsius and consequently has a smaller liquid range. The reactions in liquid ammonia can therefore be carried out only at lower temperature and high pressure. Second, specially designed apparatus and equipment is needed to carry out reactions in liquid ammonia. Third, liquid ammonia is hygroscopic and therefore utmost precautions are needed to exclude moisture from the reaction vessel. Fourth, it has unpleasant smell. Article 8.5 Sulfuric Acid as a non aqueous Solvent Sulfuric acid is the most extensively studied of all the strongly acidic solvents. It is a good solvent for a variety of organic compounds. Most of the organic compounds accept proton in sulfuric acid and act as bases in it. Before we discuss the chemistry of sulfuric acid, it is appropriate to learn some of the physical constants of sulfuric acid which are listed in table 8.7 table 8.7 physical contents of sulfuric acid freezing point 10.371 degree celsius boiling point 290 to 317 degree celsius density 1.8269 viscosity 24.54 heat capacity 0.338 heat of fusion 
2560 calories per mole dielectric constant 120 dielectric constant at 25 degree celsius under specific conductance 0.014039 per ohm per centimeter pure sulfuric acid 100% has a freezing point of 10.371 degree celsius it can be preparing by adding aqueous sulfuric acid to fuming sulfuric acid until a freezing point of 10.371 degree celsius is obtained fuming sulfuric acid is also called oleum h2s2o7 the freezing point diagram for h2o so3 system in the neighboring of 100% h2so4 is shown in figure 8.3 A careful inspection of the table 8.6 reveals that sulfuric acid is a highly viscous solvent suggesting the highly associated nature of the solvent through hydrogen bonding as a result of strong hydrogen bonding its high boiling point is also justified the high specific conduction of 100% sulfuric acid indicates that the solvent auto ionizes to a considerable extent we have already learned the auto ionization of water and ammonia according to the following equation 2h2o gives h3 o positive plus oh negative 2 nh3 gives nh4 positive plus nh2 negative the auto ionization of sulfuric acid can be expressed as 2h2so4 gives h3so4 positive plus hso4 negative the ionic product constant for sulfuric acid is given by k concentration of h3so4 positive and concentration of hso4 negative is equal to 2.4 into 10 raised to power minus 4 at 25 degrees celsius in addition to the auto ionization there are other important association equilibria in case of 100% sulfuric acid among the most important of these is the self dissociation reaction 2h2so4 gives h2o plus h2so2o7 since water behaves as a base in sulfuric acid and disulfuric acid acts as an acid in sulfuric acid we must consider two more equilibria according as h2o plus h2so4 gives h3o positive plus hso4 negative the first of the equilibria proceeds extensively to the right whereas the second proceeds to the right to a small extent from the four equilibria mentioned above an additional equilibrium can be derived 2h2so4 gives h3o positive plus h h2o7 negative this derived equilibrium 5 is called the ionic self dehydrating reactions acid base reaction in sulfuric acid auto ionization of sulfuric acid results in the formation of hydrogen sulfate ion hso4 negative and sulfuric acidium ion h3so4 positive accordingly the strongest base that can exist in 100% sulfuric acid is the hydrogen sulfite ions the strong bases in the system are solutes which yield high concentration of this ion in sulfuric acid solution alkali and some other metal hydrogen sulfates are strong bases similar to metal hydroxides in the aqueous solution liquid sulfuric dioxide as a non solvent solution sulfur dioxide is a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure it can be easily liquefied and can be maintained in the liquid phase in ordinary dewar flask it is used to carry out a number of chemical reactions it is a non protic solvent some of the important physical properties of liquid sulfur dioxide are listed in table 8.13 table 8.13 some physical properties of sulfur dioxide melting point minus 75.46 boiling point minus 10.02 liquid range 65.5 viscosity 4.285 density 1.46 dielectric constant 15.4 specific conductivity 3 to 4 into 10 raised to power minus 18 protons constant 22.7 dipole moment 1.62 A close inspection of the table 8.13 reveals that the dielectric constant of liquid surface is low which makes it an ideal solvent for covalent compounds than for ionic substances bromine chlorine iodine monochloride thionyl chloride carbon disulfide phosphorus trichloride phosphorus oxychloride are miscible in SO2 in all proportions the few expressions like liquid dioxide 
is an excellent solvent for a variety of organic solvents, amines, ethers, alcohols, esters, sulfides, carboxylic acid, and metaceptans. Hydrocarbons have higher solubilities in liquid sulfur dioxide. Among ionic compounds, the iodides and thionides are, in general, most soluble in liquid sulfur dioxide. The solubilities of alkali metal halides in liquid sulfur dioxide decreases in the order I negative, then Br negative, then Cl negative. A similar trend is also observed in liquid ammonia. It is important to note that tetramethyl ammonium halide are freely soluble in liquid sulfur dioxide. The extreme solubility of these compounds is because of the lower latest energy of these compounds, auto-ionization. The electrical conductivity of pure liquid sulfur dioxide can be explained in terms of self-ionization according to the following equilibrium. 2SO2 gives SO2 plus plus SO32 negative. The thionyl ion is analogous to the hydrogen and ammonium ion, whereas the sulfide ion is analogous to the hydroxide and an amide ion in water and ammonium solvent system respectively. Reactions in liquid sulfur dioxide. First, acid-base reaction, solvotic reaction, solvation reaction, precipitation reaction, complex formation reaction, redox reaction, reactions with organic compounds, amphoteric behavior. First, acid-base reaction. Acid-base reactions, which are also called neutralization reactions, can be better described as mathematical reactions. Liquid sulfur dioxide has been shown to auto-ionize as 2SO2 gives SO2 positive plus SO3 to negative. According to the solvent system concepts, a suitable capable of giving the cationic characteristics of the auto-ionization of the solvent is an acid, whereas a substance capable of giving the anionic characteristics of the auto-ionization of the solvent is a base of the system. Thus, compounds like thionyl chloride Thionyl acetate are acids of the sulfate diodide system. Accordingly, all compounds with anionic sulfide are the basis of the system. For example, potassium sulfate and cesium sulfate are the basis of the sulfur dioxide system. Some of the acid base or neutralization reaction in liquid sulfur dioxide system are first react Reactant between thionyl chloride and cesium sulfate. Acid plus base gives salt plus solvent. Second, reaction between thionyl bromide and tetramethyl ammonium sulfide. SOBr2 plus Me4N hold twice SO3 in the presence of liquid SO2 gives 2Me4NBr plus 2SO2. C. Reaction between thionyl thiocyanate and potassium sulfate SOSCN hold twice plus K2SO3 in the presence of liquid SO2 gives KSCN plus 2SO2. Solvotic reaction. Solvotic reaction in liquid sulfur dioxide are much less common than in water. Some of the solvatic reactions include solvatic reaction of diethyl zinc with copper dioxide at dry ice ether. H3-2H5 hold twice Zn plus 2SO2 in the presence of liquid SO2 gives C2H5 hold twice SO plus Zn SO3. Solvolysis of ammonium acetate. CH3COO NH4 plus SO2 gives NH4 hold twice SO3 plus CH3COO hold twice SO. CH3COO hold twice SO gives CH3CO hold twice O thus SO2. There are a number of binary halides such as SbCl3, SbCl5, SiCl4, SnCl4, BCl5 and MOCl6 which do not undergo solvolysis reactions in liquid sulfur dioxide. Solvolysis of alkali metal halides 8KBr plus 8SO2 gives 4K2SO3 plus 4SOBr2. Solvation reactions. A reaction in which one or more molecules of a solvent is, attract, is attached to solute is called the solvent reaction. A number of such reactions are known in liquid sulfur dioxide. It is found that more soluble compounds form solvates in sulfur dioxide. Typical examples of solvates in the sulfur dioxide system are Nai. 2SO2, Nai.4SO2, Ki.4SO2, Br.SO2, 
एस ओ फोर डॉट सिक्स एस ओ टू के एस सी एन डॉट एस ओ टू बी ए आई टू डॉट फोर एस ओ टू एक्सेट्रा प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन आर कन्वीनियंटली कैरिड आउट इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन आर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द सोलिबिलिटीज ऑफ द पॉसिबल प्रोडक्ट्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर सॉलवेंट दस अ नंबर ऑफ कंपाउंड कैन बी प्रेसिपिटेटेड इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड बाई कैरिंग आउट रिएक्शन विद सोलिबल कंपाउंड इन सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सम ऑफ द टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल्स आर साइटेड बिलो टू सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ ए जी प्लस एस ओ सी एल टू इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एस ओ टू गिव टू ए जी सी एल प्लस एस ओ सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ होल डॉइस टू के बी आर प्लस एस ओ सी एल टू इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एस ओ टू गिव टू के सी एल प्लस एस ओ बी आर टू थ्री एफ बी सी एल फाइव प्लस सिक्स के आई इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एस ओ टू गिव टू के थ्री एस बी सी एल सिक्स प्लस एस बी सी एल थ्री प्लस थ्री आई टू टू एन ओ एक्स प्लस के आई इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एस ओ टू गिव टू एन ओ प्लस टू के एक्स प्लस आई टू नाइट्रोसाइल कंपाउंड इन द अब एग्जाम्पल एक्ट एस एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड रिएक्शन विद ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज अ यूजफुल मीडियम फॉर कैरिंग आउट सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसिस रिएक्शन दिस इज मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स इनर्टनेस एंड नॉन इम फ्लामेबिलिटी सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन आर सल्फोनेशन ऑफ एरोमेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन आयदर बाई सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड और बाय क्लोज ऑफ सल्फेरिक एसिड बेंजीन प्लस एस ओ थ्री गिव बेंजीन एस ओ थ्री एच बेंजीन प्लस एच एस ओ थ्री सी एल गिव बेंजीन एस ओ थ्री एच प्लस एच सी एल फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट टाइप रिएक्शन बेंजीन प्लस सी एच थ्री होल थ्री सी सी एल इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एसोटोन एन हाइड्रोस ए एल सी एल थ्री गिव सी सिक्स एच फाइव सी सी एच थ्री होल थ्राइस प्लस एच सी एल दिस रिएक्शन इज हाईली फ्लेवर्ड बिकॉज एन हाइड्रस एल्यूमिनियम क्लोराइड इज सफिशियंटली सोल्यूबल इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एडिशन एंड सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑफ ब्रोमीन फिनोन प्लस बी आर टू इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एसो टू गिव फिनोइल ब्रोमाइड एम्फोटेरिक बिहेवियर अ नंबर ऑफ रिएक्शन कैरिड आउट इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड शो स्ट्राइकिंग रिजेबलेंस टू द बिहेवियर ऑफ एम्फोटेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड इन एक्वेस सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम क्लोराइड इन सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड विथ टेट्रामिथाइल अमोनियम सल्फाइड रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जिलेटेनियस प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम सल्फाइड टू ए एल सी थ्री प्लस थ्री सी एच थ्री होल फोर एंड होल ट्वाइस एसओ थ्री इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिक्विड एसओ टू गिव ए एल टू एसओ थ्री होल थ्राइस प्लस सिक्स थ्री एच थ्री फोर एन सी एल इफ द जिलेटेनियस प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम सल्फाइड इज रेपिडली ट्रीटेड विद एक्सेस ऑफ टेट्रामिथाइल अमोनियम सल्फाइड द प्रेसिपिटेट रीडिजोल्व जस्ट एज एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड डिजोल्व इन एक्सेस ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन ए एल टू एस ओ थ्री होल थ्राइस प्लस सी एच थ्री फोर एन एस ओ थ्री गिव टू सी एच थ्री फोर एन होल थ्राइस ए एल एस ओ थ्री होल फोर नाउ इफ द एसिड थाइनोल क्लोराइड एस ओ सी एल टू इज एडिड टू द रिजल्टिंग सोल्यूशन ऑफ लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड अमोनियम एल्यूमिनियम सल्फाइड प्रेसिपिटेट्स टू सी एच थ्री फोर एन होल थ्राइस ए एल एस ओ थ्री होल फोर प्लस एस ओ सी एल टू In the presence of liquid SO2, gives Al2SO3 whole thrice plus 6CH34 and Cl plus 6SO2. Sulfur dioxide has been shown above to be a useful solvent for a variety of reactions. Its use, especially in refining of petroleum products, is very important. However, it is very toxic and has very unpleasant odor. At most, care must be exercised in its view. of its harmful psychological effects breathing large quantities of sulfur dioxide has been found to be fatal thank you